प्रसन्नवदनमोपशात अगजानन पद्मा गजानन महर्निशं अनेक दक्तादे ज्ञानंदम देव निर्मलस्फटिकाकृति आधार आधार न्यग्रीव उपास्मे आधार हयग्रीव उपास्मे कृष्ण कमलपत्राक्ष पुण्यश्रवणकर्तन वासुदेव जगद्योनी नौमी नारायण हरि नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे उल्लारविंदयतपत्रनेत्रेन या भारत तैलपूर्ण प्रज्वालि ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रज्वालि ज्ञानमय प्रदीप सो वी आर इन विदुर्नीति सेक्शन ऑफ महाभारत देर आर सो मेनी जेम्स इन महाभारत सो रत्ना महाभारत इट से मोक्ष शास्त्र and it is a yoga shastra it is a raja shastra oh so many shastras are involved and apart from all that it's also taken as a niti shastra and all these uh, things uh, constitute uh, to declare that mahabharata is a moksha shastra and also declared to be among the rasa rasa sentiment it is subject to be shanta rasa so it's really a debating question but uh, anandavardhana and some other alankarikas will say that what is the rasa ultimately in mahabharata is shanta so shantam means peace that peace is moksham so in order that uh, that kind of peace ultimately to be obtained we want also neeti and that neeti who is eligible to tell neeti also is important बिकाज एलिजिबिटी लेने वालू नीति मार्गा चपते पीपल आर् नाट रेडी टू लिजन टू दम देर फोर आ महा नीति परल धर्म परल शास्त्र शास्त्र अंड विनयंत इलांट वाला कल नीति चपते अब आीति की विलव का इट इज हार्ड फर् इन लाइफ टू फैंड <coughs> such people who are eligible who conduct themselves like the, in the niti marga and who have boldness or courage to uh, talk about the moral science niti is the moral science so ye moral science gurinchi maatladalante it is good it is really good uh, effort and whatever that moral given is forming what you call as a moral education so moral education is important and the people are by birth immoral also nobody need to go to colleges and universities to get degrees in the immoral immorality but dushta dura durachara samani dosha varjita sarvagna so these kind of things will tell us from lalita sasnavam that there should be higher power which is really potential and powerful to be able to drive away all this kind of wicked habits wicked thinking wicked sentiments and also uh, try to shun the bad behavior durachara hurting others commenting on others in a sarcastic manner and uh, so like that there are so many ways that's a durachara and again when or even more over there must be dosha varjita so dosha galu are there estondu dosha galu inde their list will simply imp, uh, overpower the list of the uh, dosha rahitya sar sar sat pravartana so sat pravartana will lead us on a right path You see, Kalidasa, for example, tells that in Malavikagni Mitram, 
what Paramatma should guarantee you is Sanmargalokanaya. So you have to look at the moral pathways full of morality or so. And that is Sanmarga. And Alokana, you must be able to focus your attention because normally our eyes are attracted to different other things than on good things. Therefore, Avalokanaya and what is that prevents Avalokana is the Tamas Avritti. Sattva, Rajot, Tamo Gunas are there. Among these, uh, the Tamas Guna is too much. Everybody is having a lot of... A Tamas Guna Vannu Varjana Madhidare Amele Clear Agartha. It is something like when a river flow, water is flowing, there will be also so many uh, grass and other things uh, floating and coming on way. But what you have to do is you try to clear that uh, which is floating and all that, then you get a full, pure water. So like that, this morality is a most important aspect which is being taken up in the entire Mahabharata separately, uh, especially addressing to uh, Dhritarashtra, who is the emperor and who is the father of 100 uh, sons and a daughter who is the brother of Panduraja and so on. He has got so much of pedigree and importance, but he is blind. He is born blind. And even, if, even, if, even when he was given eyes, he, was, he asked Krishna, I don't want the eyes because he knew that the world is full of so many things, more bad, more disrupting things and so on. So he asked Krishna, to take back the vision he provided to him. So, okay, you observe that uh, you observe that Vidura is a very sane person. And uh, he but he figured out the He could not get Rajya Dikara. But because he is not eligible for that and he was Sudra born considered, therefore he was, because of his knowledge and all that, Vidura was made as the minister to Dhrashtra. But his minister here, he has been very much advising. So now in the Vidaraniti section, where so many people have been trying to explore, explain, and ex expose all these uh, important communications and messages. And we had a sample talk on that by some other scholars. So now we are going with the text. That is 36th chapter and now 27th sloka we are having. And uh, in course of time, in course of talk, so it was said Mahakula, the Sabda of Mahakula is introduced. And otherwise called in Kalidasa puts that Mahakula, as Uchayihi Kula. See, Kula is the family that lives upon the, uh, upon the earth continuously, uh, continuously from so father, child, grandson, again grandson, etc., etc. So the parampara is there. That exactly is called Kula. Ku is the earth, La is the lava. So as long as people connected to you exist on the earth, that is the labha you have got. And you will be redeeming yourself from Pitru Runa. And Akulagala Liguda, Uttama Kulagala Liguda, those who have very regard for the tradition and follow up of the traditional practices. Therefore, such kind of great Kulas are called Mahakulas. Then Ucha Kulas. Now, in that 27th sloka, I am reading. Brahmana Brahmananam Parivavatu Parivada Chaparata Kulani Akulatam Yanti Nyasa Paha Nyasa Paharana Harane Racha Kulani Savupetani Gobhihi Purushom Purusha Purushato Swataha Kulasangham Nagachanti Yani Hinani Ruttataha Vruttatastu vihinani kulani alpa alpa dhanyapi 
कुल संख्या तो गच्छन्ति दर्शन च मयजसा सो इन दिस थ्री श्लोक इन थ्री श्लोक यू अब्सर्व दट वाट आर दि थिंग्स दट ब्रिंग दट आर लाइक ए ड्रेन टू दि महाकुलत्व बिकाज कुलहीन आ नाश माड़ तुम सुलभ दट्स वाय भर्तृहरि इज वेरी काशस् फिसे सजातो येन जातेन याति वंशः सुमन्नति सो ओबर बर्त आदमेले आ बर्तिंद कुलवर्धनः अंत कुलगळेल तुम्बा कीर्ति युक्तवागिरबेकु फॉर देयर ओवर देयर ओन अचीवमेंट्स इल्ला अंदरे तुम्बा कष्ट आगते हियर ब्राह्मणानां परिभवात वन शुड नॉट इंसल्ट वन शुड नॉट अननेसेसरीली ब्लेम एंड वन शुड नॉट इल ट्रीट or speak ill of the brahmanas yeah, of course this point is already established in our upanishads aitri upanishad and mahanarayana upanishad and elsewhere you have got great regard for the brahma because brahmanas are those who are voting for the brahma gnanam so brahmana brahma gnanana and uh, brahmana does not uh, uh, get to anybody by virtue of birth so uh, manu dharma manu said already जन्म न जायते शूद्र जन्म इज शूद्र जन्म आ शूद्र जन्म हेज गाट टू बी रिमूव बै संस्कार बै अबर्विंग आल दट देर फोर अंत ब्राह्मणर अवमान इलाड़ो वन बैड फीचर एंड परिवाद भारत कीपा आर्ग्यूंग लाइक ए फूल आर्ग्युमेंट शुशुड अवॉड एस्पेली वेन एलर्स टेल समथिंग देर वि आलवे मीनिंग and you cannot talk anything against or argue keep on arguing it's a foolishness so because you know we have got in sanskrit a beautiful saying kochit maharshi nam shapah sanugraho bhavati don't consider if maharshis are giving curse it will not be very much detrimental always but it will be anugraha on one hand and it will be a kind of positive plus sign to all people For example, I can tell you, Durga Samarshi is a good example. You know, when uh, he was uh, observing the private movements of Indra with the Urvasi in a lonely place in a forest or so, which he was going by, and he became curious. In fact, he was in search of finding a girl to be his wife, and he was going on going to the ashrama to ashrama, request the ashrama. <clears throat> rushis to spare their daughter in marriage to him and let him be a married man because suddenly uh, he thought he felt that he must become a family man samsara beku wife beku anta ase bantu so ultimately went on searching but no rushi was willing to give their daughter just because that he is a eccentric seer highly kopana achyati kopana ha durvasa hanta and by the name itself it is very difficult to coexist with durvas maharshi dukhena <coughs> vasah sadhyate so if at all you want to be friendly with durvas maharshi is very hard because he is a highly short tempered person eccentric person therefore supposing you start arguing with the maharshi yes, is a problem send out campaign literature for mr silva who died of cancer in september at the age of 56 मेलियन so that durvasa maharshi was cursed by indra that uh, you will suffer separation from your wife for 1000 years durvasa maharshi did not speak a word for the curse that indra gave to him he silently uh, bowing down his head passed passed away in his own way 
and then afterwards they, when he went to in the when he continued his search there was a one rushi who agreed to give his daughter in marriage to durvas marshi and the marriage took place etc etc so what i am telling is durvas marshi did not give the curse back or he did not speak anything he knew he knew that he has done what should not be done so he just bowed down and went away that's exactly example is parivada cha bharata keep on arguing or trying to react for that no and akulani akulatam yanti nyasa apaharana nicha another important bad quality is somebody comes and keeps certain things at you as to guard it then if you do not if you deprive them after their return or demand or request it's a mahaparadham that's exactly what happened in pandavas you know pandavas have completed their agnada vasa also came back and asked for share in the land but duryodhana refused therefore the kulinatvam mahakulatvam is done for even for drastra like that therefore here also when nyasa is aparana done when you snatch away or own what has been deposited in you then it is also a maha it is also a crime in other words crime and punishment is a important topic in our literature in our vedic so always uh, the crimes are also mentioned the punishment also is mentioned and the way how you can reduce or get rid of the effect of the crimes also are given scope so like that here the crime is that if you if the if you take away the others money others uh, nyasa because nyasa is something where there is a trust or nya or trust and if you share the if you break the trust there is no different uh, thing than that to hopeless that's why mahakulani kulanya kulatam yanti and kulani savapetani gobihi purushatah ashvatah kuru sanghatam nagachanti yani heenani vrutatah so heena vrutti is that where people lose all that but if you are able to have a positive activity and therefore in 29th shloka he says vrutatah tu avihinani kulani alpadhanani api kulasangham tu gachanti karshanti mayajyasah so wanting in wealth but distinguished by the manners and good conduct are regarded as such and with great reputation so this is so the, he is also giving that that vidura is giving also the ways how you can protect your kulam because kula dharma kula rakshana kulonnati and etc we lead us to the mahakulas and it is not simply a credit to be born in a noble family but it is important for us who are born in the family noble family to enhance and to maintain and to sustain all those be uh, kirti of the elders now that this shloka manaha kule manakule vairakrutu kaschidastu ta raja amatyo ma paraswapahari mitra drohi nai kriti kriti nai kritiko anruto va पूर्वासीवा पितृदेव अतिथिभ्य पूर्वासीवा पितृदेव अतिथिभ्य ओ ब्यूटीफुल मेनी थिंग्स व्हाट आर मेंशन बाय विदुरा आर इन वोग इन दिस डेज बट वी आर नॉट अवेयर दैट मेनी पीपल आर नॉट अवेयर दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ डिविएशन फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल कोर्स ऑफ बिहेवियर is a, a problematic one and as long as the kriya is being done people are happy but the result come only after the kriya so kriya syante palitani that's why in durga suktam ammavaru durga parameshwari is described to be karma phale shujushtam tam agnivarnam tapasa jwalantim vairochanim 
ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲೆ ಶುಚುಷ್ಟಾಂ ದುರ್ಗಾಂ ದೇವಿ ಸೊ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲೆ ಶುಚುಷ್ಟಾಂ ಹು ಈಸ್ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೈರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಶಿ ನೋಸ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ರಿಸರ್ವೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ಸೊ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಯೋಗ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಾರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಅವರ್ ವಾರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೈರ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಕ್ಲೈಬ್ಯಂ ಮಾಸ್ಮಗ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಸೊ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಮೀನ್ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಕರೇಜ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಕರೇಜ್ ಟು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ ಫೇವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇವರ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ one should require courage so that courage when it becomes dull or la drop down then problems crop up krishna was able to mend that kind of difficulty in the sentiments and then he put him back on the track with what vigor and enthusiasm he came the same arjuna picked up and then took the gandhi one done so like that here but there are what is that naha kule ವೈರ ಕೃತ್ ಕಶ್ಚಿತ್ ಅಸ್ತು ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಲೆಟ್ ನನ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಬಿ ಎ ಫೋ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಟು ಪಿಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಕ್ವಾರಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೈರ ಕೃತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಾಜ ಅಮಾಚ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಮಾಚ್ಯ ಪರಸ್ವಾಪಹಾರಿ ದೇರ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎನಿ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ so yeah, who wants to become a king again and minister must be in his own limits and secondly mitra drohi and he should not uh, uh, be depriving betraying one's own friend trust so to to spoil the trust between two friends is a very important uh, uh, crime and that, that has got to be protected in fact you know rama and sugriva are taken to be wonderful friends but rama is afraid that sugriva may be hurt in his own behavior so he behaves very very clever and very much convenient in the same manner even sugriva so that's why this rama sugriva saukhya means sakhyata is a proverbial one otherwise in what manner sugriva is bothered to uh, send to del to delegate i mean to deploy all his army all the to fight with ravanasura with whom has no enmity at all same manner when uh, when dharma is being observed <coughs> rama interfered <coughs> between the brothers and he killed wali and he has a, has justification for that because wali objected i never know you i never know you, you are not my enemy i never saw you but why at all you shot arrow at me so the question is really interesting put forth by wali to rama and rama had answer and that answer has convinced wali and so much that he trusted rama and made his angada son uh, kept in his hands for further protection and uh, maintenance and like that you see so mitra droha is a crime and naikrutika naikrutikaha anrutaha so ಪ್ರವೋಕ್ ಈ ಪ್ರ ಪ್ರವೋಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾನ್ ಮಾರಲ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ನೈಕೃತಿಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ರುತಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ಯಾಯ ಅಬದ್ಧ ಮೋಸ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಪಿತೃ ದೇವ ಅತಿಥಿಭ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ವ ಅಸಿ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಶುಡ್ ಈಟ್ ಫುಡ್ or lunch before before the pitru pinda pradana or <coughs> before the elders or parents take their food and uh, <coughs> before making a naivedya for the gods deva atithi before giving food or serving food for the guests purvasi so he is also one who will spoil the dignity pedigree of the family <coughs> one should not eat before the elders in the house 
before the god before the god is offered before the sishyas i mean before the guests are looked after <coughs> But nowadays you observe this rule is never followed by anybody. Yarga ro paranda ravitala. When kitchen ali venu idre, yar bekadre or time prakara, all of them will come, have their food and go away. Ultimately, sometimes it happens the eldest member of the family, father or grandpa, etc., he will have to eat after eating all people. But so we have got this question of lion's family. Lion first eats, then allows the all people to eat. Well, the, all such our Indian noble traditions have become very much thin these days. And therefore, we have consequences that we are seeing now. So many nursing homes, so many hospitals, so many doctors, so many medical shops in one, one street and so on. But anyway, the Vidura is telling that Purvasi, one none should eat before serving the rishis, the gods, and the guests. Pitru is the elderly people in the house. First two elderly people should be fed, and then they should eat. Where are these things? And gone with the wind. And in the 30, now I'm reading the 31st sloka. Yaschano brahmanam brahmanam hanyatu Yaschano brahmana dvishetu Na, naha sa, samitim gachedu yaschano nirvapet krushim. So in a, in a family, if, he, if anybody were to kill a Brahmin, see, yaha kule brahmanam anyat, no Brahmin should be killed. That's called Brahmicide. Homicide is a problem, is also a is also a great sin. But Brahmin side also is specially important. In the same way, even to Sri Hatya is also a dharma and papakari. Therefore, you see that kind of dharma being observed by Rama. When you call Rama as dharma murti, Ramo vigrahavan dharmaha. And the Valmiki Marshi is telling, he is justified. When Vishwamitra took Rama, Lakshmana, and ask them to skill Rataki, the first encounter in his, uh, as a hero, as a hero. And he was asked by Vishwamitra Maharshi to kill a woman, Rataki. So there, Rama at first says, no, sir, I will not kill a woman. I will get more sin and it's adharma for me. Then Vishwamitra convinced with his own arguments and made Rama agree. On the other hand, not only that was a point for Rama, I believe, his father, Dasaratha, had told, whatever Dasaratha Vishwamitra tells, you just obey. And so he remembers his father's words because Ramayana is voting for the importance of the father. And Mahabharata is voting for mother. Therefore, Ramayana and Mahabharata form on Kayan where father and mother both. But unfortunately, there is a lot of gap in between these two. And therefore, first to Pitru Bhakti, then Matru Bhakti. In fact, it is said, until Gandhari allowed or permitted Vriyodhana to declare war upon Pandavas, he could not do it. So a final war was only at the consent of uh, that Gandhari. And therefore, in other words, the entire Mahabharata war is between two daughters-in-laws, Kunti and uh, Gandhari. So number of interpretations could be done. How two daughters-in-laws ultimately, uh, ultimately agree that they should go to war to claim the dharma or share of dharma or to establish dharma, etc. So here, Naha Brahmana Vishet, nobody should be our, have aversion feelings towards Brahmins. They should be always uh, uh, promoting the Brahminic behavior. Secondly, ma na naha saha samithinga ched 
Yahano Nirvapet Krishim. So the one should not uh, one should not injure the agricultural operations. Suppose somebody wants to cultivate land in a righteous manner and sow seeds and bring more and more crops and all that, one should not go and try to stop them from that kind of activity. And uh, so <clears throat> the other one was so yescha no nirvapet krishyam is one and nanaha samitin gachet and one should not uh, agree to join those people who do not deserve with whom they can be friendly. So even choosing the friendship, you should be judicious. You should be considerate. That point uh, is I've been illustrated to us. I'm just again going back to Ramayana, where you see between when, when Vishnu was hanging in the sky, seeking permission uh, to land into the Ramakshetra, he cannot immediately land there. He sent uh, envoy. Then Rama, knowing that Vibhishana, the brother of Ravana, the enemy, is there, came to Saranagati. Though nobody was willing to admit him down into their portals. But what did Rama do? Rama took the counsel of, I mean, consulted Anjaneya because he is one who knows Vibhishana uh, better than anybody. So, but Anjaneya Swami, Hanuman is so great that he cannot, he just put the facts, but never gave his opinion, saying that, oh, Vishnu is very good. He saved me and he is good in the work. He never talked all in favor of Vishnu at all. He just explained what happened and kept quiet, mum. And it was up to the mind of Rama to take the decision. Therefore, the whole decision responsibility was left to Rama. That's exactly what we have got to catch. That's why the last line tells you that, uh, but Vibhishana knew much, um, I mean, Rama knew and took a bold decision. And in Kambaramayanam, there is one uh, question put forth by Sugriva or somebody that suppose, see, you, uh, you have promised uh, Rajyam, Kanka Rajyam for uh, Vibhishana supposing uh, somebody, Ram, Ravana comes and uh, takes Saranagati with you, what do you do? Then Rama had answer <clears throat> that I will give my Ayodhya to Vishana and make Ravana continue in Lanka. If at all it happens, it is something very hard, absurd. So, so the great people will have alternative also before they grant permission or, or agree for some things. That's exactly the dharma that has been taught to us. And so we please remember <clears throat> next month, uh, I mean, December 17th and 18th, we are going to have a conference, some um, annual day celebrations of our Kendra, Nada Veda Seva Kendra, where for two days we have got the theme that dharma and adharma and the water is for them, their success and consequences ultimately. Those who promote dharma, they also be victors. Those who uh, promote adharma, they also enjoy life. But ultimately what would happen is again pointed out to, you, to us in Mahabharata. So anyway, like that, we have got to talk about that next month with, with the sharing of the knowledge and thinking by great scholars. Even I have asked Ghare also to do the job. He has had to come out. Anyway, so the next mantra, you have next month sloka, it is Krishna, I mean, he said, Trunani bhumihi udakam vak chaturthi cha sundruta satametani geheshu no chadjante kadachana. So, these are all the things. That is Truna, and also the 33rd stanza, Sraddhaya paraya rajan upanitani satkrutim Pravruttani Mahapragna Dharminam Punya Karmanam. How long he can enlist those things which spoil the pedigree or dignity of Mahakulas? So he has given a few examples. Vidura has given a few examples, and immediately he will tend to the other one. Now, in the last, as the last 
a point of the astra on the camel's back or so, he says, Trunani Bhumihi Udakam Vak Chaturthi Cha Sundruta Satametani Gruheshu Geheshu No Chidyante Kadachana. So these are never wanting in the houses of the good. That is, stra, trunani means a darbhasanam. Why bhumihi, ground for sitting upon them. Then udakam, the water to wash the feet and face. And walk and the sweet talk. And anruta, that is speaking truth, sweet words convincingly. These are <clears throat> not in the houses, but they are all important for other things. So, Trunani, Bhumihi, Udakam, Vak, Chaturthim, Chasunruta, Sata, Metani, Geheshu, No Chidjante, Kadachana. See, in the noble families, that's what you say, Vedic families. So, those people who have got that Vaidika Sampradaya, Vaidika Achara, they will have all these things. In fact, it is said that if you sit on Darbhasana or Kusasana, then the power of the Japam or, or austerity that you do would be enhancing. That's why you that you will see when, Ravana, when Rama sat on the shore of the ocean to observe uh, meditation upon Samudra to get his blessings and approval to bring to build a bridge. He sat on Kusasanam. That's what we observe. And as at the advice of Angada, Sukriva, or all the, I mean, Jambavan, he sat for three days on the shore on Kusasana. And so that was the principle. And uh, so, Trunani, Bhumi is a seating. That's why everybody will do Bhu Suddhi, Bhu Namaskara, Bhu Kev. Um, if at all you want to build a house, you should do that bhumi puja. So like that, bhumi and buddha come, the water. Why water? You have to always be clean to do all religious things. So you observe in India at one time, not a long time, they will have water kept at the entrance of the door of the house and they wash their hands and feet and then enter because the house also is called manushyalaya. Devalaya, Manushyalaya, Asualaya, and Pakshyalaya, like that we have got all of Alaya. The very word Alaya tells that it is total resting place where you can get rid of your fatigue and stress and all that labor you exercised outside the house. Therefore, everybody is uh, Alayam. So they, they simply say uh, Srinayam, Ramanilayam, like that they put a board to the compound wall, but inside hot homes. So they put also the board, home sweet home, but you don't enter inside. So look at Ramanalayam and read only sweet home, sweet home and go away better. Supposing you happen to go inside in the morning hours, you can see every member in the house is very much angry, shouting and all that. But that is not that. So in a family of Vedic traditions and Vedic practices, they, that will be absolute calm and peace and quiet. So when you enter into such a house, you feel so pleasant. A pleasant feeling, and there is nothing higher than that. Therefore, prashantanga untundi. Outside disturbances are dull and you feel something that. That's why even Purandar Dasa also told, wherever you go, you go only. Namure Vasi. He said, what our house, our town where we, we are born, we are living, that is always the best. So like that, he says, Guruheshu, no, no, chana. So these are all the things, I mean, fact, Vedic practices. In fact, you know, we remember, oh, I crossed the time, no. Uh, you remember that uh, uh, we are being told how should be our conduct and that conduct must be congenial for our prosperity and health. So in the same manner, he says in houses, 
all things are happening. So house is the origin place, genesis for all kinds of behavior. Therefore, mother is the first guru, father is also a rakshaka, and all other things. If that were to be the temperament in the house, people remain moralistic and uh, contributory to the society. That's why in Asamedha Yaga, we have got a beautiful Rashtra Gita, where it said, A Brahman Brahmano Brahmavarchasi Jayatam, A Rashtra Rajanya Sura Isavyo Ativyadhi Jayatam. Maharatho Jayatam, Dogdhri Dhenuho, Odhan Advan. So these are all Vedic Sampradayas. And uh, Odhan Advan, Asusaptihi, Parandhir Yosha, Jishnu Rathestaha, Asya Jaman, Asya Jayatam, Nikane Nikane Naha, Parjanyo Varsatu, Palavatyo Navosadaya, Pachyantam, Yoga Chemo Naha Kalpetam. These are all the Vedic practices which have got to be observed. That's why Sankara also said, Vedo Nityamadhi Yatam, Taduditam Karmasu Anushti Yatam. That much he said, in your own actions, you try to follow up the Vedic practices, Veda Dharma. So of all the dharmas in the world, the Veda Dharma is constantly flowing. It is never disturbed at all. Therefore, he says, Gadachana no chidyante gruheshu, chedan agodella, well, in, the, in the houses, they will be always prosperous. And if houses are like that, then there will be a lot of peace and amity in the town. Otherwise, they also told, if, you, if everybody were to clean their portico and decorate it with rangoli, then the entire street is beautiful. That was the practice. That was the practice. So every morning, anybody from the house would you go out, clean the portico, and put water, sprinkle water, and make it strong. And then over that, with uh, uh, with uh, rice flour, they used to have angoli. And when you walk in that street, it was such a grand sight for you and happiness. So, but nowadays that has gone off. Nobody cleans their porticos at all. So, there are all the Vedic practices. And because the, why that kind of invitation should be done? Because Devaha Prathamo Atitihe Manushyanam. Satavada Brahmana, Ezurveda tells us that uh, whether X comes or Y comes or nobody comes, but uh, the God certainly visits your house every day morning, right in the morning. Therefore, we have the Bhagya Suktam where we say Pratar Indra Pratar Agnim Pratar Indram Havamahe Pratar Mitra Varuna. So these are all Vedic practices. All of them are being included in this 32nd sloka, the, the Vedic practices. Now I am reading the 33rd sloka. Sraddhaya paraya rajan upanitani sakrutim pravruttani maha prajna dharminam punya karmanam suchmopi bharam trupate syandhanova syandhanovo vai <coughs> Shandano ve shaktaha vodhum natathanye mahijaha evam yuktaha bharasaha bhavanti mahakulina natathanye manushyaha. So, these are very, see how much practical knowledge that has been given by Vidura. And they are not simply uh, high rate knowledge which are impossible to practice. But in Mahabharata times, at in many places, what was practiced, all that has been reminded by Vidura because he is actually telling Rajan. And then he, he calls about, he, he describes them as Rajan, Drupati. So when these compliments are given to, Dharashtra, he should, it is appealing to the conscience. It is appealing to the conscience of the Paramatma. Oh, have I crossed the time? Six. Oh, no, no, I am on the road. I think still I got some more time. Sraddhaya paraya rajan upanita sakrutim. See, virtuous men devoted to the practice of religious uh, righteous uh, acts 
<clears throat> when desirous of entertaining the guests, these things they do it. That is uh, ready for being offered with reverence. See, pravruttani mahapragna dharmani punya karmanam. So here, the, he's talking about the great people, like they are all called, the mahapragna is an addressal to, um, is an addressal to Dhritarashtra. Also, Rajan is an addressal to Dhritarashtra. So, slowly, when Vidura addresses like that to Dhritarashtra, he is trying to hit upon the sentiment and consciousness and also the elderly quality that he has got in him, <clears throat> while all other peoples, all other people are youngsters. And so, his responsibility is more. Therefore, Punya karmanam dharmanam pravruttani. Punya karmanam. See, punya karma and papa karma. So, punya karma is always positive. What is punya karma? Righteous actions. And uh, respecting the guests who come to your house. That's why one of the, people, one of the great writers think this, that take everybody at first uh, as good fellow. But judge and that his nature will be revealed to us in next moment. Therefore, it's a fish and flesh, uh, a fish and man smell at first. So fish is good, man is good, but the smell makes you to differentiate it. Like that here, he says, paraya siddhaya upanitani sakrutim. See, what is punyam is paraya siddhaya upanitani. There is a lot of uh, talk on the expression Shraddha, on the concept Shraddha. We have got also Shraddha Suktam. You must have great faith and belief. That's what is called Shraddha. So Shraddha Yadeyam, Shraddha Yadeyam. So in Varishat, we have got that you should always give things with full mind. Sampurna Manasinda Kodabeku. Not with half mind. Therefore, he says, Sraddhaya. Adu, what kind of Sraddhaya? Paraya. And even while taking our food also, we have got, we have been taught in the Upanishad, Prana Hutikadu. Sraddhayam prane nivishto amrutam juhomi, like that. So, Prana, Apana, Vyana, Udana, Samana. For these Pancha Pranas, we first offer sample of food to us and then only you start eating the food. That is what is the Sampradaya. Brahmana Vaisya Kshatriyas are being advised that they should not simply jump up on eating whatever is served in the plate, complete it before the next item comes. That's a very wrong habit. So when everything is served, when, when some ghee also, abhikaroti, abhikaroti means that's the final uh, doing or serving that anybody, ejamana will do for the guest. So when that abhikaroti is done, when ghee is offered, that means everything has been served to you on your plate, on your leaf. And then you can say and remember Gayatri and do it. So prana, that's what Shraddha is, a, is the role of Shraddha is there any and everywhere while eating, while starting to eat the food, while giving dana to others or offering or while doing puja. That's why Krishna, you observe in 13, you know, in, uh, there's a separate chapter Sraddha Yoga, Sraddha's Yoga is there. Uh, Sraddha, he talked, he spared one chapter on Sraddha Yoga, then Kshetra Kshetra Yoga, etc., etc. So, just to silence and remove the Vishada of Arjuna, that you see Krishna has taken 17 yogas, and ultimately Arjuna was convinced and he becomes a ready for war. Like that, here, Pravruttani. Dharmanam, Dharminam, Punya Karmanam, Dharmin. You see the word Dharmin means anybody who cares Dharma very much. In that aspect, Rama tops the priority list. He says that when he soon after he married and brought Sita home in Ayodhya, what he said, Rushibhi Tulyam Maam Vidhi Sita Ge Heltane, Rushibhi Tulyam Maam Vidhi Kevalam Dharma Masritam. He says that Sita, Please consider me equal to that of a Rushi. I live a saintly life. 
and uh, don't imagine me to be doing this that grabbing all things and encroaching and claiming and all no i just live a normal life the tough eh? rishi and so rishi bhi tulyam mam vidhi and what is my resort there kevalam dharma maasritam so i am only voting for dharma so dharma astraya na very few people take it because dharma everybody tries to swerve from dharma and look to their personal advantages but dharmina means those who vote for dharma who live the dharma and such people are called dharmins and further who are they they are all called <clears throat> and they are also called punya karmas those who are doing that kind of thing they are always on the side of punyam and uh, pravrtani means practiced that they are all practiced by them so what is that maha pragna is highly uh, aware of so much of knowledge and philosophy and all that so rajan upaneetani satkrutim sraddhaya paraya so you have to always satkruti duskruti kriti these are the three uh, combinations we have got in that in sanskrit so but sukruti is always uh, satkruti or sukruti is always voted even shankaracharya in saundarlari says kathama akruta punya ha prabhavati so uh, punya is one target for all people and if they observe that they have become kruta punyas and uh, if they don't then akruta punyas so actually our human life upon the earth when we touch the scriptures and the rishis and their authors and all that ours is a very delicate life we cannot live life as we want but we have to live life as the elders or as the rishis as great people pointed out to us sanmarga lokanaya we always look at durmarga aviniti but aviniti anana we have to try to overpower that and but it's really difficult something like when you pack when you send one package glass one it says glass handle with care or when you have more than 50 kg i mean 50 pounds the airport walas will put heavy careful like that label they put so what does it mean that we should be always under the punya acts and punya karmana pravrtani dharminam so these things ready for being offered and with reverence and again the next 34th stanza beautiful sukshmaha api bharam drupate syandano vai shaktaha odham na tatha anye mahijanam mahijaha evam yuktaha bharasaha bhavanti mahakulinaha na tatha anye manushyaha he brought a beautiful uh, comparison between that see bharam so sushma api bharam rupate syandanaha shaktaha see a sandal tree a tree is capable of uh, competent enough to bear weights which uh, the timbers of other trees uh, much thicker cannot and uh, so they belong to high families and those people always are able to bear the weight of great cares which ordinary men cannot so there is a distinction made between the mahakulinaha manushyaha manushyaha are the ordinary people mahakulinaha so for example among all trees the sandal tree is really uh, important thin though the sandal tree is thin but still sushma is thin or not capable but it is capable of though the size is small but it is able to bear heavy weights though there are other trees which are stronger but they will not but so this is we have got to think over much that vodhum na tatha anye mahijaha mahijaha are those who are born upon the land could be manushyaha 
could be trees, could be the mountains. So whatever that are born, that, are, that have come up from the earth, they're all called Mahijaha. So Divijaha, Mahijaha, Sarojaha, like that Jalajaha. So you know, that Ja, Ja, Ja tells us that the, the origin of the birth. So we are all called Mahijaha. Even trees are also called Mahija. Therefore, we are just told our man is nothing but inverted tree. So this, uh, but what is true to tree is true to the man. And so tree life and man's life same. And therefore, in Ezurveda, we have got a prayer. O Yamadeva Vaiswana, O Vaiswavasu, please let me fall down. Then complete maturity is there in my body. Like a leaf that falls down from the branch of the tree automatically, then it's uh, can't, uh, stay in the uh, connected to the tree branch is over, but not in between. You, if you want to take out the leaf out from the uh, tree branch, when it is strongly attached to that, it is a little hard. But those though in a fall season, they call it here. So in fall season, uh, no tree will be ready, but because of wind and other forces, all the trees will fall, all the flowers automatically, I mean, all the leaves automatically fall down and make the entire tree bald so that the bald tree will be able to bear the snow that comes later on. So like that, our, gen, our uh, fall also should happen. So why it happens? Because Mahi Jaha. So whoever comes to the land, it is like that. So Bharasaha Bhavanti. So Mahakulinaha, those people, among all that sandal tree, sandalwood is a very sacred, powerful, valuable, and expensive wood. You know that. And uh, that even though sandalwood also tree is also like that, it is capable of uh, bearing any amount of haram, any amount of weight, and therefore. Bhara saha bhavan saha is a sustainability or ability to that bhavanti and mahakulaina na mahakulaina. So another definition for mahakula is they are able to substantiate all kinds of good in them, all kinds of good acts in them and therefore they are really great. There is no comparison. But ordinary people who are not mahakulinas will undergo a lot of changes in them. So this is the Niti that he is going to talk about what is Mahakula. But so now and then he is trying to touch, define, describe uh, about uh, the nature, content, behavioral excellence, and uh, the conduct one has got to adopt that they cannot be simply Manushyas, they should have the Mahakulinas. Although you are not born Mahakulina, but through work, tapasa, brahma, vijigna, saswa, through work, you can grow bigger. In India, in Bangalore, I mean, in Andhra, you know, that president, one of the presidents of India, the Sanjeev Reddy, was he's a farmer's um, child, born in a small village, but he became the first citizen of the country for some time. So imagine, that is how one can, by their own efforts, rise up. And that way, therefore, the kula becomes enhanced in that. So it is said that <clears throat> ordinary men cannot bear the weight, whereas big, mahak, bigger people, noble people will be able to withstand all sorts of uh, weight. And that's the exact, I mean, responsibilities. And that's why whenever we are in sorrow, as an ordinary people, we go to gurus, we go to swamiji's, true swamiji's, we go to temples, and all this because they are able to, though they are, they are able to uh, respond to our uh, sorrows and give us appropriate decision, I mean, advice and instruction, then we will be completely happy. That's why it is said so, Sagataihi, Subhashitaihi, Prabodha Padavim, Prapnuyanti, Maharshayahant. See, all the Maharshis are great, learned Mahapragnas, Mahakulinas. They are able to give us appropriate advice that which, which will remove our sorrow and grief and all that we become happy. So this is exactly what I, so yeah, all the trees upon the earth, even sandalwood trees also a Mahija, 
and other also mahijas but what qualities the sandalwood tree has got uh, that is it has got that bearing all these things so i think i can stop here and continue next so om swasti sarvam shri krishna arpanam astu sarvam shri matru charana aravind arpanam astu om tat satu Thank you very much. We just end the meeting and meet again. Cheers.